Hey guys, this is Cole with Regal Metalworks. So today we're working on the last two prototypes of the foot crampons. So I'm just going to get ready to cut them out and bend them. So I got it all set up. I'm ready to roll. <clears throat> I have to make some changes to fit in that spot right there, but we got it. So we're just going to burn it out right now. Just going to change this over to a 125 fine cut. Done. We should be ready to burn. Got to open the file. View it. Boom. There it is. There it is. It's hard to get out. There we go. This is just some scrap steel I had left over from another job. So it's good for prototyping stuff. So we'll just uh, sand that down, sand the rust off it, get the slag off the back, put it in the press brake, bend her up. And then we'll have a matching pair for this one. It's close. There was a revision that was changed here that wasn't on here because you see, see how this pushes out. And this revision here where I removed some of the material there. So we'll have that for that one. But that doesn't affect the overall performance. It's just for aesthetics. So we'll get on to bending that. So we got our two pieces made here, one's 14 gauge and one's 1 8 inch thick. So one's 0.125, that one's 0 0.07. So I'm going to go ahead and bed these right now in the press brake. So I already, already have it set up from, from yesterday. Actually I forgot something first, I got to actually bend this round first because it will get in the way. So we just take this and lay this here. gauge which is a lot thinner there we go that just helps when you dig in when you're walking okay we're gonna bend these guys up
Yeah, but. Yeah, that one's a little bit better. Yeah. This one's got to go in a little bit more. Stuff. Name's Dan, and I missed y'all. that guy. Now, so, all we have to do is bend it straight across here now. That's easy. Easy peasy. Them. I say I say I sanded them. Yeah, yeah, special. So the 14 gauges are done. They look pretty good. We're gonna throw these in the tumblers. Oh, wow. Who sanded those? <laughs> One of my special needs uh employees. <laughs> Politically uncorrect. Why? Political no no's. Good enough. So we have to drill these okay. out a slightly it's bigger. Me and I don't take any offense, but man, those look really nice sanded down. How about you go throw them in the tumbler? Emphasis on throw. You're gonna ruin your work. Yeah, not that one. Not that one. Okay. Ow! Those are pretty sharp. Pretty. Hey. Yeah, they're very sharp. <laughs> they're meant for sticking in ice. Snow. Yeah. Small woodland creatures. trying to eat you. Oh. <laughs> Plug it in. Okay. This is our uh This what was left in our small gun that we use for shooting quick jobs. How'd they looking? I powder coated those. If they look good. If they don't, I didn't powder coat them. Yes, Dan powder coated them. They look alright. Yeah, they do. They actually look really good. I did them. They look professional. Mm-hmm. I did it. Hold me. Well, it had nothing to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter, Wiggy? You scared? I want to see this. I just want to kind of swing on it and cars can help. It's only a grab to get. So we're getting in the process. about when I was trying to hold this thing up with a piece of wood down here for 10 minutes because Aaron was bolting it in and then he took a phone call about selling <laughs> something and I'm just standing here with my hands up like you should have got that on film that was really yeah, I have, but it was at least a good 10 minutes and I'm like yeah, just standing there it's like something out of the movie it literally was like 10 minutes and he's holding a 2 by 4 <laughs> holding that up so that he can lag it in it was like this this up because we didn't have any glow. 
<laughs> 15 minutes. He's on the phone trying to make a deal with selling some car or something. And Aaron's standing on the top of the ladder. <laughs> it's it's it was shoulder dead, right? You should, you should have been there. <laughs> you should have been there. It's funny if you're there. Yeah. Anyways. So, I say so a lot. This furnace here is the one that we're going to hang. This is what was on it for the exhaust, which is an oval. It's like 9 inches by 13, which I couldn't readily availably find. <laughs> readily available. Readily available. Couldn't find something to fit on that. That's a damn sentence right there. <laughs> so I took it off. And here it is, so I'm just going to go ahead and make a 12 inch pipe that fits here because that's what we need. And I should be able to get pretty close. I'll just kick it off the back here. I'll fab that up so that we can fly this. And we just need to run gas in the exhaust vent. I think I'm going to run it up there behind that banner. You can see that, that banner right there. Pull that out, I'm going to cut out a big square and then do a, a metal plate over it with a hole so that it has uh, ample room so it's not against the, against the wood, the exhaust pipe that is. Speaking of gas. <laughs> Honey jokes. I didn't, I don't fart ever. ever no. Another project that came in just the other day. This Cannondale, this guy was mountain biking. And he hit a cur or big rock and snapped his frame right there. Not a, not a big uh, issue to fix this. The only problem and my biggest concern is it's a carbon fiber frame. This is all carbon fiber and it's press fit into, you can see this aluminum here. And this piece, I'm not even sure where the carbon fiber ends or sleeves in because it's hard to find the transition. So I'm not sure. I'm hoping we don't delaminate the, the carbon fiber when we weld it. So I'm going to have to try and make it a quick weld to keep the heat out of it. So this, this will be tricky. I'm going to hopefully get to that, if not this week, next week. How do you turn it off? Flip it off? Yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> I could do it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <not there>. <laughs> I was going to make a joke like I was going to touch it and then burn myself, but I actually burnt myself on the outside of the Elvin because this thing is 30 years old and doesn't have any protective <laughs> <laughs> Safety, what's that? Yeah, that looks pretty good. Yeah, yeah that looks pretty good. I did there, dims. Yeah. Looks I did pretty dims. good, eh? I did dims. Let's grab, uh, grab some pliers. Just got to look at it. Copyright Ed Bassmaster. Ooh, that looks good. And then these little dipples from the dies. Can't really see them on camera. Maybe you can a little bit there. Okay, another one. Numero dos. Yeah, it's its mate. Yeah, don't touch it. It's a little cool. Normally you wouldn't do this, you'd let it hang, but since they're all points, it's not going to affect anything. And it's about time to go home for the day, so, or actually go to work for the day. So we need to wrap this day's vlog up. <laughs> wrap it up, just like nothing, never mind. There's the 14 gauges. Those ones look a little bit better. This one was bent a little funny. That side looks better. But <clears throat> two of these 14 gauges here, two eighth inch, which is like 11 gauge. 
and uh, we'll package them up, send them off. Send it. Still gonna send it. Anyways, guys, thanks for tuning in today, and uh, feel free to check back anytime. We got a bunch of pro cool projects coming up. Like, subscribe, have a Merry Christmas if we don't see you. Hmm. Yeah, very Merry Christmas. I'm sure I'll do another vlog before then. Well, I think. Well, make sure you buy a, a ton of presents here, because that's what the world is all about, material things and accumulating them so you can take <laughs> them to your grave. <laughs> Peace.